So I'm curious in your case, when you say that this is some like uh, the cause and effect um, and the, the dependent origination is something that you learned um, since your ordination or your the most valuable thing that you learned. Yeah, the most valuable. Um, thing. In what sense do you mean that you learned this s- since your ordination? Because I'm sure you heard what comes around and goes around before that. Because you ordained what in your 30s, right? Yeah, when I was 30. So it's not like when you were 30, it was the first time you heard about the morality and what comes around goes around so what like what makes it's what changed for you in um in that ideas of cause causality since your younger days maybe before being a monk well before before becoming a monk it was um you know it's it's just something you re- you read about and you don't uh, immerse yourself it's something you read about and it's something that you don't immerse yourself in. So when you're, when you're a monk, you, you try to immerse yourself in the teaching. That's why we, that's why most people should become a monk. That's why you became a monk, right? You wanted to go deeper into the teachings and mm-hmm. it's just, you know, one thing to just, you know, pick up a Buddhist book and you have some time, you have some free time and you read, you know, an hour a day or something like that. And it's another thing when it's your, it's your whole life, you know, everything, uh, when you're, when you're, when you're a monk, you're, you're immersed in, in, in that world. Right. So, um, so it means, it means more. And, uh, and when you're in meditation uh, centers, you know, um, in meditation centers, they, they teach this, um, the Pa'ak, actually, probably most meditation uh, centers, they teach, teach the Samapada. And what distinguishes each Vipassana method from another, actually, is how they teach, um, is how they teach uh, dependent origination to teach the Samapada. Um, so they all have different explanations. The Pa'ak method is, um, is a very complete method and it follows the uh, Visuddhimagga, whereas the, the other methods, um, they follow just a, a, small, a small portion of um, one specific aspect of the teachings. And they say by following this one little part of the teachings, you can follow everything. And, uh, and it's uh are you okay <laughs> yeah i've just been attacked by this mosquito i'm trying to shoot away <laughs> trying to remember that not not killing <laughs> precept here <laughs> i tell you you know um the other day i was i was uh traveling with some people and uh one was a, was previously a monk for 25 years and the other one is just he's married to her now and uh, we were in a, a botanical garden. There was a lot of mosquitoes. We went there in the late afternoon, and there was a lot of mosquitoes. And I'm not really bothered by mosquitoes so much. And uh, and uh, she was she was slapping them. And I and you know for me I just sort of blow it off. I mean that's actually an idiom, you know, just blow it off. And uh, um, which I recommend to everyone because the cause and effect. Keep your sila. As as I said, no one wants to protect the murderer. <laughs> but, <laughs> but she was she was she was killing mosquitoes, and um, uh, and I must I must I must admit I was like I was really shocked by it because I don't really see people killing things, you know, in front of me. Uh, and 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 I said, no, don't do that, don't do that, like that. And um, I said that's really bad. And then um, later we were we were in the car, and there was a mosquito, and she she lowered the window down, and she's like she's trying to brush it brush it out the window, you know, and uh, and I said sadhu sadhu sadhu, and so uh, and so that's good, and that's also a teaching, you know, and uh, you know we're 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 always involved in this in this um, in this teaching, so at the Paak Forest Monastery. Uh, back to the Patitya Samapada. 
they teach a, um, they teach a, a very complete part of Paditra Samapada, dependent origination. And it's uh, according, it's, 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 it's fairly close one-to-one uh, according to the uh, Vitsudhi Maga, the path to purification. And it's, it's very deep and, and they teach it according to past life knowledge. And uh, it's, a very, um, it's, very, it's very deep. Um, and uh, one, uh, one should be able to contemplate about uh, future lives all the time. When one gets this knowledge, one should understand that uh, that cause and effect is uh, is very dangerous, very dangerous, and that if one does things with an unwholesome mind, one can get um, unwholesome results, and that can spiral um, very quickly. For instance, uh, like a cat. I mean, cats are hunters, and they kill all the time. Or, or a gecko, let's say a gecko. So people think, you know, uh, you know, we hear like, you know, Zen teachers or some type of Buddhist teachers, maybe not Zen teachers, I don't know. But I hear all this time, you know, they say it's cat nature, gecko nature, whatever. Um, I'm not sure which, which sects of Buddhism talk like this. But a lot of people think, you know, that they don't really suffer because, um, you know, that's, that's who they are, you know. Um, but they do actually. Karma, karma is karma, and uh, it's very rare. People can't imagine how one would spiral downwards very quickly, and uh, and so it's um, it's very it's very dangerous, you know. If you become a cat in the next life and you kill mice because you're a cat, you're not exempt from that. One time, uh, Venerable Ananda, he says, it's a very clear as clear. And, uh, and the Buddha said, do not speak like this about the teacher Samapada. He says, it's very deep and difficult to learn. Um, I think he said, it's, a, uh, it's, not, it's not for everyone. It's actually, it's for the wise. It's for the wise to understand. And it's very deep. So um, uh, this is... Uh, very, 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 very deep. And, but even though it's very deep, I do say, you know, what comes around goes around because it's a digestible teaching. And uh, it's something that's universal. If you're Christian, if you're Muslim, you know, you can, you can uh, digest this. You know, it's, it's there for you. This but, reminds me, I think, uh, yeah, there's a, some Buddha's discourse. Um, the, where um, I think there were some monks and they were asking, like, they didn't want to, maybe they, like, weren't following the rules and then they wanted the reasons uh, for, like, why the rules are the way they are before they were ready to follow them, something like this. It was from uh, the Majjhima Nikaya, the the middle-length discourses of the Buddha. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm just guessing that's where I got it from, um, is there was a section where the Buddha is basically saying something like uh if you like have been shot by an arrow maybe you're not you want to you want to find the person who uh you want to find the person who shot it who shot the arrow and you don't need to to pull out the poison arrow yourself right you don't need to go and investigate exactly what material that arrow is made out of and who made it and how it was made before you remove it he's basically right. saying you just go ahead and remove it and um so the way like the reason what made me think about it is that like there's these different levels of the teaching for different people like for one person it's enough to just know okay this is how you remove it you know maybe do good don't do bad this kind of level and then for somebody else it'd be like all right well you need the exact detailed explanation of what's happening and this and that. And then they talk about maybe what the arrow is made of and why it's exactly giving you poison. And so on and so on. Yeah. I mean, I mean, if you could just check your mind before you do anything, before you speak anything, you know, and just check your mind. Okay. Is it appropriate? Is, is my mind wholesome? 
and then you can do you can accomplish a real lot you can accomplish a real lot but um but for for liberation so you you can avoid a lot of bad karma but uh, uh for liberation um you have to you have to do a little bit more you have to you have to know the in and outs the workings of karma how it all works and uh um before you can actually uh, escape so you have to you have to know in detail about map reading you know to find the way out or you know, it's like a map reading you know how to read a map you know oh, oh. nowadays nowadays we just use uh, you know some map program to you know some satellite program to figure out where we are <laughs> and how to get somewhere you know uh but um but really we you know like a car mechanic we want to see we want to understand how to um we want to you know dehumanize uh the self and others we want to know the the workings of it that it's just simply mind and matter and causes for that mind and matter we want to know that and let's take like a a car mechanic so for instance i don't know much about cars okay and let's suppose i was a, you know i owned a car one time i did own a car so in the past i owned a car at a um I had a vw camper bus <laughs> and uh and i didn't know how to fix it and it became you know pretty much worthless to me okay but somebody recently that i know one of the people on my arms round he just recently bought a vw camper bus okay and uh there was a there was a um a bushing missing from the transmission and uh he had some other things with the um with the transmission and the exhaust and some other things and for him he's a very he's very knowledgeable in the parts you know the parts of a car he knows how it works how everything interacts and he knows that if you know if it you know if it's difficult to get it into the gear that maybe something's wrong with one of the bushings you know he told me all this right and so an, another person just sort of you know throws her hands up in the air and they're like you know let's sell it let's get rid of it cuz it's just going to cost a fortune but he can see something that is just a bunch of parts and something that just needs to be replaced and so if if something breaks okay in that in that VW camper car that um he can he he doesn't get upset and emotional about it he he says oh it must be something is wrong with it and it must be this part and this part and this part and then he'll he'll investigate that you know you might watch a youtube video nowadays that's how you fix cars you watch a youtube video and uh yes google watch the video and uh order the parts and see if that works and so he can do that you know and he has experience he has enough experience so that he doesn't get emotionally upset he just sees it as as a bunch of parts that work and function together and uh and he can he can work with that and we want to do that with with the mind with mind and matter and its causes and we want to understand how that works and eventually see how they are all separate parts and how there's no they're all anicca dukkha and anatta they're all impermanent suffering and non-self and so uh, we want to know them in detail so that we can we can get to that stage but what comes around goes around is very simple it saves people a lot of trouble if they follow that advice it'll save a lot of people a lot of trouble and i always i do that in loving kindness uh, uh tell them to to do loving kindness and i'm doing loving kindness on my on my arms round and uh and it protects me too and uh, it's good it protects maybe it protects other people and they're open to that they're open to the teachings.